Now the second part to this, really, uh, if you think about it, the first part was one thing, but the second part really is this thing about worldview. And it's really the third reason, but it's actually the number one reason I believe we should have Christian education. It's because of this idea of worldview. You know, I have these glasses and I'm outside today, so my glasses are doing this kind of funny thing. They change, you know, and, and I can't really stop them from changing, can I? I mean, I, sta I stand out here and the UV rays, I don't understand exactly how it works, but the UV rays interact with what chemicals that are in my glasses and they change. And uh, my glasses are kind of like my worldview. You know, in the morning, like right now, I'm looking at you without my glasses and uh, you're blurry, you know? Some of you may even look better, I don't know. But anyway, you're blurry. And so what I do is I put my glasses on and suddenly there's a clarity to my world. There's a clarity to my world because it's how I think, how I understand, how I reason. There's a shape to it, right? That these glasses have been shaped in a certain way and that's the way that I see the world. So without my glasses, the world is kind of fuzzy. With my glasses, the world is clearer. Okay. We understand that that is what a worldview is, but for a Christian worldview, it's a certain set of glasses. And what can happen is that as I change my environment, my glasses are going to change. Now, what's funny about this is, is that my glasses change, but they don't change the way that I see. They just change the way I perceive things. You see what I mean? They don't change the way that I see because the way that I see is the same. The shape is the same. And that's what Christian education is all about, my friends. Christian education is about shaping the lens. The fact that I go outside and the lens gets a little darker, or I go inside and the lens gets a little lighter, the fact that I'm exposed to things in life sometimes, the fact that I make mistakes in life, the fact that I, I do certain things, or I'm a part of certain things, or the fact that I find myself in, in difficult situations, the fact that I find myself in successful situations, that can all be the way that it shades. My world gets shaded for the moment. But the, but the shape of my glasses, that's what Hampton and Bowes Academy is about. Hampton and Bowes Academy and Christian education is about shaping a worldview. So that when I put these on, no matter where I am, and no matter how dark my world gets sometimes, no matter how light my world gets sometimes, the shape of my world, my worldview is the same. And for Christian education, that is the number one key. It's not academics, it's not safety. The number one thing is a worldview because without my worldview, I'm not safe. And without my worldview, my academics don't mean anything. Without my worldview, without understanding my place in God's world, then I don't have anything to discover outside of that. I can discover a lot of things and I can learn a lot of things, but they don't mean anything because everything has meaning within the construct of God's word. And so for me, it's important that we have academics and safety, but it's more important. The most important thing of all is that we have a solid biblical worldview. That's not just a part of our day. We are not you know, this school and, and Christian education and Hampton DeBose Academy is not built on a public school education, a humanist education with Bible classes. A, a real Christian education is built from a Christian worldview and everything is built up on top of that. And so I just wanted to spend a few minutes with you and tell you that Christian education is a must for your family if you're interested in establishing a Christian worldview for your children. And that to me, as a dad of a kid here at, at Hampton Abose Academy, that's what's important to me. When my, when my daughter comes home and she's singing the old hymns, it's not about the hymns, it's about the message, it's about the worldview that's there. When she comes home quoting from scripture, it's not the version of the Bible they're using for me, it's much more the foundation that's being laid. Because I know that when she walks away from here, she's going to know 2 plus 2 is 4. I know that. I know that when she walks away that she's going to get a few bug bites maybe, but she's going to have been safe. But I, what I know most of all is that she's going to understand who God is and who she is in God. And to me, there's no other education other than that.